If home is where the heart is, then where is home for you at this moment? Where is your heart? Are you home? When you think about that question, do you go to your family? Do you consider your hometown? Maybe home for you is where you feel accepted or loved because maybe you didn't feel a lot of that in your actual home where you grew up. We all want to be home. We want our hearts to be satisfied and at peace. Most often we equate that with family, but is that truly where home should be? Let me tell you about some friends of mine. David and Hannah are a precious young married couple who have been a part of our church family for the past few years while David has been finishing his PhD. Home for them is New York. We are in Arkansas. When we would talk with them about the future, it was simply in their plans to go back home after graduation. We know their hearts were set on going home and being closer to family. So it was just a given that our time with them was limited here. God had other plans. As we have prayed for them, we've asked the Lord to open the right door for their next chapter and season. Opportunities would come and then opportunities would go. Still, they patiently waited on the Lord. Were there moments of struggle in the waiting? Absolutely. But they remained faithful, trusting God's timing and plan. Then a door opened, like the most perfect door. But here's the thing, it's in Arkansas. While I'm so excited our friends are going to be with us on mission a bit longer, I know their hearts were longing for home. Then my friend David shared this beautiful reminder about where home really is for him. And it's from a prayer by King David in Psalm 27, 4. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. The anointed King David was afraid, hiding for his life when he wrote these words. He was so far from home, yet this prayer wasn't one asking for the comfort of his own bed or to be closer to his family or to be simply where he thought he should be. It was focused on worship. It's a beautiful picture of where David's heart was, even while possibly writing this prayer in a dark, cold cave or the wilderness. He only desired to dwell in the house of the Lord, seek him and praise him and be in his presence all the days of his life. So where was home for David? Home was being in the presence of the Lord. My friend David, who will now be residing in Arkansas a bit more with his lovely wife, Hannah, shared these words of wisdom. He gave me permission to pass along to you. Maybe God allows our trials in life to lead us to desire that one thing King David desired as well, just being with Jesus. It's where we are heading as Christians and what a joy to experience intimacy with him on this side of eternity. David and Hannah are experiencing what King David knew to be true. Home is wherever the Lord is. And as we seek his presence in worship, cling to his truth, and lay down our will for his, we will be home with him, no matter where our address may be on this side of heaven. That's the truth. Let your heart find rest in the house of the Lord. There's no place like it. I'm Lori Klein.